So I have been working on a couple of projects and trying to record things, but unfortunately I keep having some audio problems and having to re-record them. Uh, so today, look what arrived, a Sony UWP-D11 wireless mic and nice digital setup from Sony along with the standard lapel microphone and I even ordered a uh, nice headset mic to go along with it so hopefully that will cut down background noise this will get rid of the clicks and all the static that I've been having so we won't have to re-record stuff <laughs> two three four times also, the new Agilent handheld DMM, the U1233A, has arrived. So I want to thank Test Equity for getting that to me in only ten, about 10 days, rather than the normal five to six week wait that has been going on. So thanks to them for that. And so I'll get a quick, uh, hopefully a short review out on this. I would like to focus, though, on some aspects of it that haven't been covered on the U1200 series, like the uh, built-in voltage sense. So that'll be interesting to try out. We'll also then, uh, I'm going to focus on some energy monitoring, and by that I don't mean just like a, an off-the-shelf kilowatt or any modifications thereof. Probably more like, this will be more like um, taking a device like the ACS-756 Hall Effect. Uh, takes in AC current and gives you an isolated uh, low voltage output, which is uh, nice for uh, hooking up to an Arduino or other simple device, but we'll go into something more complicated like the MCP39F501 as well as uh, some of the uh, analog devices like the ADE7913 here. And we'll also look at a couple of uh, devices from uh, Cirrus. We will look at the, specifically the CS5464 and probably the 5490 chips as well. And by that, we're going to try. I'm going to look at these from the aspect of a completed product that needs to be built. Then, um, from that, these will be hooked up through probably through isolation, uh, initially galvanic, possibly opto as well, to an Arduino for testing. And as I select a device, I'll then convert the code over and implement it in um, for a microchip pick, probably the 32 series. The energy monitoring will probably come in a series of videos, each covering a specific device or approach, rather than trying to roll these all into one massive thing, because some are fairly simple, but have lots of uh, drawbacks and complications. Other devices are much more complex and probably each need their own coverage. 